and I'm currently pursuing BTEC from Madanapalli Institute of Technology and Science. In this current situation of pandemic COVID, I focused in doing projects uh, like which can help to reduce the spread of COVID. Then I came to know about this uh, call for code organized by IBM. I also attended a few enablement uh, sessions where I came to know about IBM Cloud Services. This motivated me to do this uh, uh, project monitoring uh, geofence using uh, IBM Cloud Services. Th this is, these are the things uh, now I'm going to uh, present uh, here. The first thing is my project idea and the purpose, scope, objectives of this project and the technology stack uh, used in this project and its architecture, implementation and developments and finally conclusion. Firstly, I would like to uh, start by describing my project uh, idea. The project is uh, mainly aimed to monitor the person by creating the geofence on the map. It outputs the location coordinates of the user and uh, displays uh, whether the user is inside the geofence or not. It will be uh, helpful to a greater extent right? because uh, we know in this uh, current situation, uh, like uh, many areas uh, where more COVID cases are arising, then that particular area is uh, made like a red zone. So uh, we should not allow the persons like uh, from the outside or from or the person from the inside to uh, to go from here and there or to enter or to leave. So in this kind of situation, this uh, monitoring geo uh, fence plays a major role. A circle of uh, certain radius is uh, created when the user enters in it or uh, when a person from the geo fence leaves to the outside location, we are able to identify the location coordinates based on that location coordinates. We can uh, decide uh, the person is inside or outside the geo fence. And it can also be geofence not only by a circle, but also any kind of a polygon shape. For example, uh, if a person from any other city come to our city, uh, they may not have any idea like uh, in which area more COVID cases are there in our uh, city and, uh, and, and we should not uh, enter in that particular area. They may not have an, uh, this kind of idea. So at that moment of time, this kind of application would be uh, helpful to the greater extent. Now coming to the main purpose of this uh, project is that it could be very much helpful to avoid the spread of COVID by fixing the geographical boundaries. These are the invisible uh, boundaries which we are going to arrange in the node red, uh, in the node red using the uh, geofence node so that the user is not allowed to enter or uh, leave a person like a uh, red zone. And then the user accidentally enters or leaves, we can able to alert the people, then it could be helpful to them. And one more thing also, uh, it has been a challenging task to monitor, control and safeguard the people, especially during this uh, pandemic. We are seeing like uh, police people are also struggling hard to safeguard the uh, people. So. Uh, in that point of view also, it can be more uh, useful to uh, safeguard the people. Why? Because some may knowingly or uh, unknowingly violate those rules, especially to the person who are in uh, who are who needs to be in a quarantine. They need they needs to uh, follow certain rules like uh, staying uh, exactly in their locality, not to roam here and there in the city. At that moment, it will be uh, helpful to them also like to monitor this kind of uh, people. And coming to the scope of the project, it is uh, developed using a, uh, it is, uh, it's the main aim is to develop a continuous uh, real-time uh, monitoring system by utilizing the node, node red from IBM cloud uh, services. If it detects any change in the position, uh, we can able to send a notification or a message or an alert to the user's mobile saying that you should not enter this is a kind of a red zone area or uh, if we are staying in a red, red zone area and uh, when we cross the red zone area, it will alert you should not cross the red zone area, you must be safe. The main primary objective of this part is to safeguard the people right? because we know 
we are very much aware of this uh, pandemic situation and the care that we must needs to be taken coming to the technology stack the project is uh, implemented using the node red instance from ibm cloud the location of the user is uh, relayed through public webhook relay address this uh, webhook is like uh, is just like a connection between the two different uh, applications whenever an event is uh, triggered in the triggering application what this webhook does is uh, it will send that information to the webhook relay bucket it will serialize the data and it will send it to the at, uh, webhook relay bucket and by uh, using the uh, api key from that uh, webhook relay bucket to our uh, node red uh, uh, geofence node we we can able to get that uh, location details to to us and one more reason why we are going uh, by using a uh, webhook url is that uh, we know that the gps of a person is a more sensitive data so that uh, the transmission from the user end to the server end and the server end to our noded application the transmission must be very secure and uh, must be without any loss of data so what i have found is that uh, https uh, uh, protocol can be a minimal secural uh, connection to uh, establish with, with this kind of uh, specification. So that is why we are uh, going for this uh, HTTPS uh, protocol way of transferring data between the user end to the server end and the server end to our uh, loaded application. Coming to the project architecture, this uh, diagram on the top right shows the data flow model of our. Uh, project initially an application we need is it must provide a location data so here for this a prototype i used on tracks application as an user interface to send the location details like uh, latitude and the longitude details to the webhook relay and the webhook relay node is uh, used in our uh, node red uh, uh, applications so that it can uh, from the webhook relay node, we can get the data. And as the data we are getting from that is uh, serialized, we need to uh, decrypt or uh, decrypt that data such that we can, uh, uh, like, uh, we, we find uh, latitude and longitude of that uh, person. And using that data, we can uh, point out the person also in the world map using the node red uh, world map. Then, then we had arranged a a predefined an area in the geofence nodes uh, like where we need to fence like uh, coming uh, utilization of this like uh, red zone area if we take this red zone area if in that particular area we are going to geofence that mm -hmm. such that if a person enters in that geofence area or the persons in the geofence area leaves the, uh, that particular uh, area we can able to alert that those uh, users such that uh, they should not enter or uh, they should not leave this area like that kind of things and one more thing we can also here i displayed as a we can show in a web web page we can also uh, use it to store we can also use the data to store in a cloud uh, database for real-time monitoring but if we go for the real-time monitoring we need to take some precautions like uh, any other uh, malicious users may coming and um, without uh, any kind of those things we have to we must take care of uh, those things uh, by because the users might be uh, the location data is very sensitive so we have to uh, give some rules such that no private uh, access can be done and also after within specific time of uh, days we can we, uh, we will delete that uh, details of location and the diagram here shows the node red implementation uh, of the nodes connected in the node red um, this diagram shows the details uh, about that and now coming to this implementation and developments this is what the output i got in the node red if, if a person if, if a person is from the geofence area and he and, and he is going to leave that geofence then it showed a message like you are out of geofence stay home stay safe with the, the location coordinates like latitude and longitude here we can also observe accuracy and better location 
this accuracy is like uh, if we have the latitude and the longitude coordinates with a four to five digit precision value then we can definitely have like a one to 1.5 meter precision of the value so that kind of uh, accuracy also we can observe here and we can able to find the battery information like 56 this battery information is uh, useful why because uh, if we go on uh, using these uh, location services the, for the entire day uh, we may also experience uh, we may also already experience it like uh, it will consume more data and then and, it, and there will be a more uh, net network dependency so in order to uh, minimize those uh, drawbacks what I, uh, what it can be done is like uh, we will be dynamically uh, changing the time period of uh, request location change request from the user mobile like uh, if the user is inside the inside a, inside his locality if he walks also then only the fourth or fifth are probably third uh, uh, digits of precision digits uh, latitude and longitude might be changed and not more than a great uh, and not more than a, a small difference will be observed so in that case uh, we don't need to uh, ask the more many requests uh, from the user uh, uh, end why because if requests are more than the battery consuming and the network dependency will be also be more so if uh, for example if a user is going in a public transport vehicle or a car then the location change that means the latitude and the longitude differences with the recent location and the previous uh, got location will be uh, a very much higher value that difference so based on that dynamically observing that we can able to uh, modify the number the frequency of the request that uh, we are going to get from that uh, user uh, users mobile so by using this technique we can try to uh, minimize the um, uh, network dependency and as well as we can able to maximize the uh, battery efficiency this project can also be further developed uh, like if we want, uh, like uh, if some additional uh, enriched technologies, like if the user is uh, added some task that they wanted to do, that they wanted to do after some few hours or after some after some few days, based on that uh, geographical conditions, we can able to alert the user, like uh, if he added to visit a particular place at some particular time. Uh, if we have some kind of uh, uh, analyzation that at particular that moment of time there will be more uh, crowd in that area so then we will be uh, able to uh, notify the user like uh, to change the timeline of that task and to set the task at particular uh, of another time so that we can also uh, not only save the life of this person but also we can able to reduce the crowd in that particular area if more number of people are using this kind of uh, application and one more thing uh, as we are able to get this location details it can also be helpful to find the uh, track like uh, we can also use this data for contact tracing by finding the path user has traveled and uh, by storing this data in the cloud with the real time monitoring uh, of this uh, data we can able to identify the track and we can able to and it will be helpful for contact tracing here i have developed with a single tracking of a person but it can also be extended for tracking the multiple person which can be further more helpful uh, to analyze uh, the data and to uh, give alerts to the persons we can also uh, utilize like uh, for example if we we know we all know about uh, google maps for example when we set a travel destination it will show the least uh, time taking path and as well as the a minimum uh, traffic having path so, like we can observe like uh, red orange and green um, colors on that uh, path also like uh, red means more traffic is there like green means a bit uh, lesser traffic is there uh, by using that kind of data also we can analyze the crowd in that particular area by 
for example any uh, by requesting any api from uh, any other uh, uh, map uh, like giving th that kind of data if we able to implement in uh, that kind of thing also in this application then it can be further more helpful uh, to safeguard the people finally i would like to conclude by saying the greatest uh, wealth is health the the enrichment of this project can definitely minimize the spread of covid and it is one of the most important tasks that is in, that, that is to be implemented as of now uh, you can also find this project in the given video link and the, my github repository this is like a major building block and many functionalities can be added and i'm still working with this uh, project to develop more and i'm sure i can uh, achieve this uh, higher end version of this uh, project with your uh, guidance and your support so now i would like to uh, Using this Node-RED instance from IBM Cloud, I have designed a Node-RED implementation here by connecting the nodes. Yeah. We are going to get that uh, GPS data, location, uh, latitude and longitude data through this node from the webhook relay bucket that is already that is already created, and from there we are going to get those kind of data and and as the data is already encrypted we need to decrypt uh, that data to analyze that so we are going to decrypt that and we are passing that data to own tracks app and using and from the own tracks app we are going to uh, point out in on the world map and and it will be used for tracking we uh, already set a predefined area in the geofence let me show you We already set a predefined area in the geofence so that if other person enters, then it will be able to alert them. This is like a small working. Like this, you can able to get a notification like, like you are inside a geofence, uh, please. Uh, like that kind of information, we can get it. And we can also visualize it in the world map. Like the position of the user can be visualized in the world map. If he is inside the geofence, here right now the geofence is not visible, but it is the geofenced area as of now. Uh, so we are getting there as uh, you are inside the geofence. And now I'm going to change this uh, geofence to some other location. I'm dragging this geofence area and I'm putting some other location, but I'm actually here. So now what uh, it shows is like uh, I'm outside the geofence and I need to stay home and uh, stay safe. Here you can observe at the uh, bottom. Here you can observe you are outside geofence, stay home, stay safe with the location coordinates. So uh, we can send again, we can send a notification to the user that outside the geofence you are outside the geofence you need to stay home and stay safe like this kind of notification